Hello again, welcome to Game Dodo's channel. We've received lots of questions and opinions since we posted the video introducing the new Pocket Go upgrade. So, we decided to make this video to briefly answer some of your top concerns and introduce some missing points in our previous videos. The D-pad is now more sensitive. The control of direction will be more precise. We can test it in the input tester. And let's see how it is in games. Now, the new analog stick is more sensitive as well. We talked about this in the previous video. Some like it and some don't. Anyway, it's convenient. As with the RG350, once the game crashes or it gets stuck, you can quickly reboot the machine. We've tested it. Charging speeds up even more. Basically, 15 minutes is enough for a machine to charge from 0 to 15 percent. This makes the machine less plastic. You can even see the glittery effect on the surface of the new Pocket Go under the light. On other platforms, we see some users mention concerns that the new glossary surface will make the grip worse and reduce friction. It doesn't feel much different in practice. There is one change we didn't mention before. The position of the menu button has changed. The menu button doesn't do its job now and the power button takes its place. The same as the RG350. We are aware that volume issue is the top concern for most. Sadly, the problem still exists in the new version. Yes, including future updates to the RG350 firmware. But only on the latest version of the Pocket Go 2 can use this firmware. The previous version doesn't. 